All right. Hi. Um, Dr. Ben Newman, uh, I don't know, I'm a coronavirus person. Uh, let's get to your uh, next question, uh, which is from Amy. Good morning, Amy. All right. So, hey, Dr. Ben. Short story. My husband, our 16-year-old, and myself had COVID-19 and have recovered. Thank goodness and oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've probably got more of a story to tell, but I'm glad that everybody is all right. Um, now that we have antibodies for at least three months, hopefully longer, um, does that mean we still have to continue to wear a mask from a medical uh, standpoint? Not a state-issued standpoint. Can you explain why? Uh, thanks so much. And uh, there's a little PS on the end. We do wear a um, mask. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. The fact that you're asking this question kind of tells me that you probably are, yeah, thinking about things and wearing masks. And I like both of those things. Um, yeah. All right. So why wear masks? The most recent person who was confirmed to have caught COVID twice, I believe, got the virus after it was something like two and a half months uh, after catching it before. And we don't know when this person was actually exposed. That may have been the first exposure. That may have been the 10th exposure. And uh, he or she was immune before that. But, ugh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look great. It's not a good look. Um, and so that three-month thing, uh, that comes from a, um, a big, I believe it's British study, uh, uh, just this past week. And I think that's more like the average. And the thing with averages is, these are a little bell curve, yeah. Some people are above average, some people are below average. And <laughs> it has everything to do with your immune system and nothing to do with anything else about you. Um, and uh, basically, you can only test this with a little drop of blood, and uh, then you'd have to go for some kind of uh, quantitative antibody test. I know Abbott Labs make one, and uh, I think they're probably European equivalents of this, or I mean, they sell Abbott products there. Um, and yeah, there are a lot of ways to do it, but uh, that, that would uh, actually give you some idea at least. Um, I would say the main reason, so that would be the medical side, it's just you don't know when your uh, warranty runs out and uh, you don't want to get caught without a warranty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because um, then you'll get COVID again. And we've seen that COVID can be milder or the same or worse the second time you get it. And so it just means it's basically unpredictable. And uh, no, you've already rolled those dice. You've already been through this. Yeah, I, I yeah, I don't know. I, from what I've heard from most people, it's not the sort of thing you want to do, you know, <laughs> it's not like a roller coaster. Let's ride again. Yeah, uh, quite the opposite. Uh, um, I would say, though, from a not state mandated and not um, uh, even health perspective, I would do it from a psychological perspective. So I'm guessing since we're talking about states that you may be in the U.S. Um, and uh, just because most of my listeners in the U.S. are in Texas, so I'm going to guess Texas. Um, which I'm probably wrong on both of these parts, uh, maybe even Ohio. Who knows where? Who knows where you're from? But wherever you're from, they probably play football. And so same reason why injured players still show up in their uniform, even though they don't have the pads on and it looks real weird, and stand on the sideline in their crutches. You're still part of the team and you're supporting and you're letting everybody else know that you are still there and you're not going to help much. You're just helping by putting on a good face, brave face, and uh, showing that we're all in this together. And I think that sort of psychological reason is uh, probably would probably be my number one uh, reason. Yeah, it's probably not directly going to harm you for a while. Notice all the little weasel words <laughs> I put in there to kind of uh, yeah soften that down. Um, but uh, at the same time, yeah, you go out, uh, you know, whistling Dixie uh, with your mask off uh, in the store. Yeah, it's going to look as though you're one of those people that doesn't care when it sounds like you're very much one of those people that does care and is trying to do the right thing. So there you go. That's uh, virtue signaling with a purpose. Let's call it that. <laughs> Um, as is so much in society, and not uh, not entirely bad, yeah. All right, so yeah, I, I like that you're asking the question, and I bet a lot of other people out there have had the same question. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's my answer. You're doing it. You're doing it for the team. Yeah, yeah. 
no I in team, and there's no mask. Well, no, there is a mask in team. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. I don't know. That that falls down. Thank you very much, though. Uh, that's uh, um, a good question, and this has been asked, Doctor Ben. <laughs>